As Squid Game, the challenge wraps up. You will be shocked to learn that eight moments in the show were scripted and completely staged. One of the fan favorite cast in Squid Game, the challenge is player 432. While many loved how he brought a lot of energy to the show, others disliked him and were happy to see him eliminated during the warship. However, the cast, whose real name is Britain, may have started the show as a strong competitor, but his part later became scripted to add drama to the show. And you will be shocked to find out when the moment happened. So during the Dalgo a game, Britain was a serious contender who intimidated player 299 into picking an umbrella for his team while he settled for an easier option. The fascinating thing about this game is that player 432 failed as his cookie broke while trying to get the shape out. The cast revealed this shocking detail, saying, The cookie challenge, I kind of lucked up and my cookie broke and I got passed and I was really surprised. So that means he should have been eliminated before he had to leave the show. And even though the player thought he was lucky, the production knew his edits would excite the fans at that moment and decided to keep him on much longer for more drama. As someone who had already lost, Netflix felt he had main character energy and they just couldn't let go and had to turn his participation into a scripted drama for viewers to enjoy. Just like player 432 got away and was favored, you should know that some participants were also called to be in the show and didn't need to audition like other random contestants. Former contestants on the show confessed that Netflix used some Instagram and TikTok influencers who were already well-known online for the show, Player399, who lost at the Marble Game because she couldn't reach a compromise with her partner, confirmed this. The contestant said that one of the producers sent her a DM on Instagram to tell her she looked like a good fit for the show based on her social media presence. And from there, she passed the other stages and became one of the players. Although a lot of money was at stake and everyone wanted to win, the influencers who contested were also brought in for entertainment, and some things they said or did did while in the show were scripted, these influencers even had real microphones, while some other contestants had dummy ones. So it was pre-planned because they knew that the selected cast would have a lot of dramatic things to say. A moment in the Dalgona challenge was also scripted, even though it was one of the most intense scenes. Player 299, whose name is Spencer, was the main character of the cookie game as he was gagging and anxious after he picked the umbrella shape. Fans could see Spencer looking around at the beginning of the game. He even stared at one of his team members who broke their umbrella in a funny way. And viewers wonder why Spencer would look at the person like that despite choosing the problematic shape for them. However, player 299 has clarified that he didn't do that intentionally as the scene was scripted. He explained that only a few were asked to start working on their cookies while the rest were told to pretend to be working on theirs. This moment was to help the crew capture each of the players as they tried to get the shape out. Player 299 wasn't doing anything at the start of the game, so he was looking around the room before he eventually started. So the scripted part of that scene was most of the players pretending to be working on their shapes to make it look like they were all under the same time limit. And it didn't just happen with the Umbrella team, as every other team had to do the same thing. After the red light, green light game, the cast was taken to live in the dorm. However, before moving to the dormitory, they were told not to communicate with each other and those who tried were removed before the first game started. So the players all officially met during the first game and at the dorm. Even though the cast wasn't forced to look for allies within themselves after that first game, Netflix planned a moment for them to be able to make friends. The production intentionally made the next day after the first game to be free so that they could form their alliances. And this was a scripted plan by the production to make the game more interesting. The Glass Bridge game was one of the most intense challenges for the contestants, as their excellent judgment of the right glass could save them from being eliminated. And fans saw that some of the participants were falling off the bridge after picking the wrong one. While this game and the fear or excitement that came with it were real, some other essential parts of the scene were fully scripted. The producers John Hay and Stephen Lambert revealed they employed stunt actors to fall through through the glass rather than the players themselves. They wanted to ensure this was done professionally without leaving any players injured. So that part of the show was scripted as the stunt performers and players worked hand in hand to make that scene come out well. John said, there was a large airbag underneath, but that also needs to be done by professionals. However, he added that every other part of that scene was genuine, but they just had to manipulate the falling scene. According to John, the players had to choose the glass they thought was 
was right before stepping on it. He explained how the stunt doubles were used for the scene, saying, and then at the last minute, we swapped them out and a stunt person did the fall. He also revealed that even though they used professionals for that moment in the scene, they ensured the bridge's height was still very safe to jump through. John also mentioned that playing out this scripted part of the scene didn't take time, as the swap and fall were quick, just like fans saw in the show. Another scripted moment in the show is when the players get woken up and head straight to the day's task. Although the cast got up at the same time in the morning, transitioning from there to being ready for the next game isn't realistic. The collective waking up moment was mainly to get the shots of a new day with the cast. But what happened that didn't get shown is more chaotic than fans can imagine. The wake up scenes weren't as smooth as Netflix made them seem. The players revealed that they slept in those bunk beds, but it was uncomfortable primarily because there was a lot of snoring that ruined their sleep. It also got to a point where the dormitory started to smell because there were limited bathrooms bathrooms and sinks for about 200 people. And the part you didn't see is that they all had to queue up every morning to use the bathroom like they were at a festival. However, the players maintained that they kept everything hygienic and clean. While this was the reality behind most of the wake up scenes, the part where they got up for the tasks was an act to get the perfect shots. Although most of the players' actions were unscripted, the guards wearing pink in the show had a specific script to follow for their roles. But one exciting fact about the guards is that they were mostly made up of crew members who had to dress up and cover their faces to carry out their activities within the dormitory. This was done because it would make the players think they were in a squid game instead of seeing regular people around them. But some people got cast to be the guards in the show, and these people are mostly seen when they task the contestants or escort them. One of the executive producers, Steven Yemo, revealed how their part was scripted, saying, we took them to guard school, essentially, and had a choreographer come in and work with them in terms of how they stood and how they walked. They did really create the atmosphere within our show. The contestants took the guards very seriously and were always anxious whenever they walked into the room based on their robotic movements and strict voices. However, Player 90, whose real name is Anchor, mentioned that the guards were creepy and it was hard to believe they were playing out a script. He said, we had two guards who were right at the back of the dormitory just patrolling and they would try and not break character. Interestingly, they later got one of the guards to break character after one of the contestants stared and gestured at a guard who repeated the same thing and that was the only time a guard appeared friendly to the players. So because the guards were following a script, they also had to follow a scripted pattern during one of the games. The circle of trust was an exciting and scary moment for the players, but the guards made it a fair game by keeping to the script. So the producer Lambert said the guards had to follow a specific instruction so that the players couldn't quickly figure out who left the coffin on their desk. As viewers saw in the show, the guards walked around at the same time without the players hearing or noticing who got picked among them. They even rehearsed these scripted movements a few times before getting it right. The producer added that the choreographers helped the guards with the timing of their movements, which worked perfectly for that scene. What do you think of these eight scripted moments in Squid Game? The challenge, share your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.